Max is my beautiful baby boy. He is uh, five years in heaven. He would have been five in April uh, this year, and his birthday is April 7th, and his angel anniversary is May 8th, which is a rough day sometimes because the, through the course of the years, it falls on Mother's Day. So my son uh, was unexpected. I didn't expect that I could ever get pregnant, and I did, and then he was born really early. He was born at 24 weeks, he was in the NICU for 31 days, and then um, we lost him. Uh, he, when, because of how early he was born, he had beyond grade four bilateral brain bleeds, which is the reason why he's not here. Now looking back, there is no way he would have survived all of that, because uh, by the time he passed away, 75% of his brain was gone. And without a brain, you're not a person. So that was hard for me. The early years, the early, the early being the first year, it's like a big blur. The first six months, I think I was really numb to it. It still didn't feel real. But then like in the first, like after that first year, it kind of like really sinks in. After that, it just, his dad and I fell apart and we didn't make it. Then I got a big, another big hit from him um, when he decided that it was just completely over and he just completely shattered our relationship. So then not only did I lose my son, but I lost the person that I thought was my best friend. I just wanted to crawl in a hole and I kind of did. I didn't leave my apartment for six months. So after that, I started picking up the pieces of my life. Little by little, I started doing more for myself. I had gotten to a really good place with my grievance. I had done support groups. I've got, I had gotten involved in the baby loss community. I started with the studio about a year and a half ago. I wanted to just dance and move and forget, but I didn't think in the process that I would discover who I was as a person. I started with probably the most insane class I could have started, which was Samba with Julie Simon. Once I started getting the movements, I thought to myself, hmm, what else can I accomplish? And that led my journey to going back to school and just uh, loving myself completely. And I think there was one day, and I get so emotional because it's been so hard for me to look in the mirror and not feel so much guilt and just love because I lost my son. And so one day I was, I remember I was in Samba class and we were doing something. The famous Julie Simon, love yourself, touch yourself moment and I completely looked in the mirror head on looked at myself and I said I love you and it wasn't coming from anybody else but from within and I said huh I want that feeling all over again so that's what dance has done for me it's taught me to love myself and I never in a million years thought it would do that but if it wasn't for me walking into those doors and saying why not I'll give it a shot what, what have I got to lose I would have never discovered all this. Now I have amazing friends. I have, I'm rebuilding my relationships with my family and it's because I'm accepting myself and I'm loving myself and it all came from those crazy movements and just realizing physically if I can do something, mentally I can do it even better.